Hi everybody, this is Viji Vardarajan. Today happens to be April the 14th, the Tamil New Year's Day, when we celebrate with some special dishes. I thought I will start my video with this special recipe, which is very, very part of our New Year. This New Year falls only in April 13th or 14th every year, according to the Tamil Almanac. So the recipe I'm going to do today is manga pachadi, that is raw mango sweet sauce. It is very special because it has a sourness. Since it's green mango, it's sour. We choose one that is really sour and it has some neem flowers fried into it for the bitterness and we add some jaggery to give it the sweetness. So let's start off, shall we? This is the mango that I have cut, completely removing the skin. So which means I will show you exactly how this is done, okay? When I, when I start peeling it, I cannot have the green color on it at all because I want it to cook well. The green color of the, of the skin will not allow it to be cooked well. So I need it to be cooked well and it should remain whole. So that's the reason. So this, this flesh is what I'm looking for. And that I cut into these small cubes and we will make this into a sweet sauce. So let me start this off now. I will tell you. I will first season with mustard and then I will stir the mango a little bit in that, add some water, close it and allow it to cook to softness. I'm going to add the mustard. You always add the mustard as I told you as soon as the oil gets hot. So it's already popping, right? At this stage, I add the mango. So it is seasoned and the mango will be stirred a little bit before I add some water, put it on medium flame, close it and allow it to become soft. That would take about five to seven minutes, not more than that. This is a very special dish. I will talk about it later on when it's cooking. So I've stirred it enough. I will add a little water. and I'll allow this to cook in water for some time. And then when it turns soft, then we'll come back. So uh, we have, it's soft, it's cooked. You can see this. I want it to remain whole, that's the main thing. So at this stage, I'm going to throw in some jaggery. Let me throw in a little dark jaggery also. I like the color to be a little dark and uh, once you add the jaggery to anything, the cooking becomes very slow for a vegetable or anything. So you need to be careful to add it just when that vegetable or fruit is cooked. So. You see how soft and mushy it's become. So it's important that you have to peel the green skin completely. And you have to see the white of the flesh inside when you start cooking that in water. Yeah. As soon as this is cooked, I'm going to keep this down and I'm going to get another pan up here and I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I have kept this aside and I'm getting another pan and uh, I'm going to keep it here and start off the induction stove and I'm going to add ghee and I'm going to add a very special ingredient to roasted ghee before adding to that. These are neem flowers. I'm going to pluck the flowers out. I'm going to roast it in, in the ghee and then add to the final product of the sauce. 
Now, this is what I was saying. The, the, the question of this particular dish has a sourness, has a sweetness, and it has a bitterness. So these are all the joys and sorrows we go through in life. And these are the different processes that a human being has, sorrows, joys, sourness and something. So all that is what is depicted in this dish. It is a very beautiful story when we make this sauce on Tamil New Year's Day. So I have already got some flowers plucked. So I'm going to add this. And um, I read something interesting about a neem flower, which I'm going to read out later. I just saw it somewhere, and I wrote it down. I'm going to read it. It's, it's exceptional, the, the health benefits of neem leaves and neem flowers. The ghee is melted. And here, as soon as it gets browned, you get the flavor of the neem flower and the ghee with it. It's a very intoxicating flavor. Here it is. The flavor goes through different processes. First you smell the neem, then you smell, then you get the aroma of the ghee with the neem, and then when it becomes completely brown, it's a completely different flavor. When I see it changing color, like when it becomes a golden color, I will remove it off the flame and it's ready to be added. Okay, this is done. I want to read out something about the neem flower now. So what I read about the neem flower is pretty interesting. It says, neem flowers can be used to treat anorexia, nausea, belching, and intestinal worms. Ayurveda suggests neem flowers are good for the eyes and in treating skin ailments and headaches. They are also used in aromatherapy because of their calming effects. The neem leaves are good, the neem flowers are good. And I remember my grandmother never used a toothbrush or even a tooth powder, used her hand to clean her teeth. She used to remove the bark, the tender bark from a neem tree. She used to scrape it and that is what she used to clean her teeth with. She, was, she had completely fantastic teeth and she never lost any of her teeth because neem has such wonderful medicinal properties. They say this is the only tree where you can sleep in the afternoon under, under this tree because it lets out oxygen during the day. It's that wonderful, a neem tree. I have roasted it in ghee and I've added it to the sauce and uh, this makes a wonderful sweet side dish for any main course meal done that day. This is particularly done on our New Year's Eve, uh, which we call Varsha Pirap, that is birth of a new year. So um, this is like, we, we, we want to change. We want to realize the sorrows, the joys, and everything that go with life, the bitterness, and we reconcile ourselves to become better people. So this signifies that, this particular dish. So try this at home. It's very easy. I always give my recipes in detail in the link below. And if you have any questions, you can always come back to me and I will answer them for you. Until then, please like and subscribe my channel. And this is Vijay Vardarajan signing off. Until the next time we meet, bye. Mm -hmm.